Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hugot si Nayan. This is Sir JV, your mat ka hugot, and welcome po sa ating channel. So, ngayon po ay October 5. So, bago ko po simula ng video ko ng ito, ay ako po ay nagsasabi po ng Happy World Teachers Day po sa lahat ng ating mga kaguro diyan. Kasip na yan, syempre, sa aking mga co-teacher sa, sa aking school, sa Luyos National High School. Uh, nag saka po sa ating mga sudyante, syempre. So, guys, please try to give their support sa ating mga teacher. Especially po sa kanilang mga ginagawa para po masustain o makontinue ang ating pag-aaral kahit po panahon ng pandemya. So, ngayon po, October 5, we're going to start our second quarter. So, second quarter, guys, ang ginagawa kong video. So, ngayon po, nagro-rolling na yung mga first quarter video natin. So, it's time for us to start yung mga video for our second quarter. So, yeah, guys, tingnan po natin itong video for second quarter. So, our first topic for the second quarter ng ating hugot sip na yan ay ang introduction of linear inequalities into variables. So guys, kung napansin nyo po, ang last topic ng ating first quarter ng ating MELC base sa grade 8 po ay about linear equalities. So ngayon po, ang bibigyan pa sin natin guys ay linear inequalities into variables. So here's our objective. At the end of this video lesson, the learner must be able to have week 1 week 1 The second quarter, letter A, differentiate linear inequalities in two variables from linear equations in two variables. That is our code M8A ALLLA2-2. Illustrate the graph of linear inequalities in two variables. So, guys, continuation lang po ito ng linear equation. Kung pamilya kayo guys sa linear equation, Halos pares lang po ang ginagawa nito. One thing lang na nagpinagkaiba niya guys is yung kapag may dotted line or kapag may broken line or may straight line, may shaded na part na ginagamit. Which is, ngayon natin maalaman kung paano. So, compare the following number guys. So, we have the first one. So, we have negative 11, positive 3. Negative 1, negative 3. Let's try to answer. That is greater than. So, ano yung number two? Negative one, negative three. That is great. Greater than. The first one is less than rather. Sorry. The second one is a greater than. The other one is a greater than. Next is equal. The third one is equal, and the next one is less than. So, ano nga ba guys yung ginagamit na itong greater than, less than na po na ito? So, whenever guys, we're trying to confer uh, numbers or values, ginagamit natin guys itong mga symbols na to At ang tawag po guys dito ay ang mga, yan. So, we have a less than, a greater than, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to, These guys are symbols used for inequality. Kapag ang dalawang object ay hindi magkaparehas ang measurement, sila po ay inequal. Sabihin, one value difference from another. Sabihin, meron po sa nilang mas malaki syempre, meron po sa nilang mas maliit syempre. Ibig sabihin, they are not equal in terms of values, but they could be compared by using inequality symbols. At iyon po yung ating bibigyan pansin para sa ating first topic. So guys, tandaan nyo po yung less than na yan, greater than, greater than or equal to, and less than or equal to. So bawat symbols na yan guys, ay magiging importante pag tayo ay pinag-uusapan ang inequality symbols. So what is linear inequalities in two variables? So, grade 7, guys, pinag-usapan ninyo yung mga linear inequalities in one variable lamang. Kunyan, isang x lamang. Pero pag pinag-usapan, guys, natin ang linear inequalities in two variable, we're talking about an x and a y. Yun po yung pinagkaiba po ng dalawa. 
So, if a linear, if the equal sign in a linear equality is replaced by, in, by equality sign, the result is an inequality, linear inequality. Ax plus by equals to c, which said to be a standard form. Pag ginawa natin siya guys na Ax plus by equals to c, or yung symbol ng equal, ipapalta po natin ng mga yan guys. We're talking about eh, less than, greater than, less than equal to, or greater than equal to. Diyan po guys, lumalabas yung mga example natin sa baba. Which is 3x plus 4y greater than 12. 2x minus y greater than 5. At ang tawag po dyan, guys ay linear inequalities. Now, paano malaman kung linear inequality siya at paano malaman kung siya ay member po ng mga to? At tatanong, paano siya ay graph? So, para malaman natin guys, let's continue our discussion. Guys, ang solution ng linear inequalities in two variable ay laging ordered pair. So, x and y. So, kahit guys sa linear equality, basta x and y lagi siya. Kapag ginawa niyang true ang statement, solution set siya. So, same thing with si linear inequalities. Kapag doon yung ordered pair, and next to x and y, which makes the inequality true. Kapag ginaging true yung ating equation base sa x and y natin, automatic solution set siya. Okay. Hence guys, sabi dito, kapag daw ang x and y satisfy, ibig sabihin, naging true yung statement, the inequality, the ordered pair said to be a solution set. Solution set of the inequality. Unlike guys sa inequality, sa equality rather, meron tayo divide by infinite solution, meron tayong one solution or no solution. Dito guys, hindi lang basta solution, solution set, sabihin, marami. At kailangan nating malaman kung ano ba yung mga sets na yon. Okay? So, para ma-determine natin kung ang isang point o x and y ay solution ng isang linear equation or inequality, ito po yung gagawin natin. First question, is 3, 4 a point, a solution for the linear inequality 2x minus 3y greater than 4? Hmm, solution ba to? Yes or no? Para malaman natin guys yan, ikailangan natin siya itest. Paano siya itetest? By substitution. Pag tinest natin siya, we have our equation. We're just going to replace x and y by the value of the ordered pair 3 and 4. So, x will become 3 and y will become 4. Then, after yun guys, solve natin kung masasatisfy niya yung ating solution. Hop. So, 2 times 3 is 6. So, ito po yun. Negative 3 times 4 is negative 12. So, greater than 4. So, 6 minus 12 is? What is it? Greater than? Is that true? The answer is no. Hindi siya true. Ibig sabihin, yung 3, 4 ay hindi solution set ng ating equation. So, sabi dito, since ang ordered pair na 3 and 4 ay not a solution set for 2x minus 3y greater than 4 kasi hindi niya sinatisfy yung ating sagot. So, definitely guys, negative 6 is less than 4. Kaya po, hindi siya solution set. Guys, so, same equation, papayo naman kapag ang given natin ay 2 negative 1 ay si solution. So, same pattern guys, we're going to test 2 negative 1 on, the, on our equation, 2x minus 3y greater than 4, isa substitute lang po natin. No? So, pag sinubstitute po natin, so, maging 2 times 2 is 4. So, we have minus 3, that's negative 3, times negative 1, that is 3. So, pansin nyo po, ito po yung sagot natin. Piltan lang po natin siya. So, 4 plus 3, greater than 4, is definitely 
a 7 greater than 4. At guys, yan po ay puso. So, automatic po guys, solution sets po siya. At ang given po natin guys ay solution for our equation 2x minus 3y greater than 4. So, mag-try pa tayo guys ang isa pa. Papaan naman guys kapag ang given natin ay 2 negative 3 para solution natin x minus y less than negative 1 or sa ating linear inequality. So, same thing will be done guys. Substitute lang po natin. So, x for 2, negative 3 for y. So, 2 minus negative 3 greater than negative 1 or 2 plus 3 greater than negative 1 or 6 greater than negative 1 which is puso. Di ba? Ibig sabihin guys, tama po ang sagot natin. Siya po ay bahagi po ng ating linear inequality. Ibig sabihin guys, sa ay solution set. Ngayon sir, bakit laging solution set ang laging mong binabanggit? Bakit hindi solution lang po? Kasi guys, maraming solution po ang linear inequalities. Hindi po siya tulad ng linear equation na halos isa lamang po kapag we're talking about intersecting lines. Dito kasi guys, napakarami ng possible. Ito guys ang ibig ko sabihin. Ang graph guys ng linear equation ay line lang po. Line lamang. Pag pinag-uusapan natin guys ang graph ng linear inequality, ang tawag po sa kanya ay half plane. A graph divides the Cartesian plane into two plane, the shaded, the shaded region and the non-shaded region where the lines separate them. At guys, kung napapasin nyo po yung shaded region na yan, yan po yung sagot. Ibig sabihin, lahat ng point na under ng shaded, point, shaded region na yan ay solution po sa ating equation o bahagi ng solution set. Kaya tatanungin nyo ako, solution set sa? Lagi pong solution set. Kasi half plane po. Pag sinaming half plane guys, for example, meron kayong square, hinati nyo po diagonally. Ibig sabihin, makakabuo ko parang dalawang equal na triangle. Yun po yung solution set. Example, pizza. Hinati mo sa gitna. Yun po yung half plane kasi po, hinati mo sa dalawang plane. Kaya po ang tawag sa kanya ay half plane. Okay? So parang ito guys, ito, sa mga, ito yung mga bumasted sa'yo. Ito yung mga may gusto sa'yo. Yan, hinati. Okay, joke lang po, joke lang po. So, napasin nyo guys, puro half plane po yan. Okay? Kapag guys, broken line, yan ay greater than or less than 2. Yan, binibigyan ko ng idea ha. Yan. Pag broken line, lagi pong ang symbol sa ginagamit for linear inequality po ay less than or greater than. Kapag solid line, lagi pong may equal. Less than, equal to, or greater than, equal to. At iyon po yung pinagkaiba po ng dalawa. Okay? Less than equal to? Less than or greater than broken? Less than equal to? Greater than equal to? Solid. Okay? Tapos huwag kakalimutan yung shaded lane. So, yan po yung may example pa. Kapag, yan naman po guys, eh, kapag ang given natin ay eh, uh, x equal to a or y equals to b, yan po yung mga given natin. So, usually, hindi man tayo nabibigyan ng ganyan. Ang binibigyan lang po natin ay yung mga diagonal. Okay? Ito. Ito, guys, ay kapag uh, y equals to something. Ito naman ay x equals to something. Yan, yun yung mga dalawang given. O, ito, kailangan tandaan, guys, ha? Pag shaded region, part of the solution. Pag non-shaded region, part na hindi to bahagi ng part ng solution o hindi siya solution kapag solid line yung points sa solid line ay kasama sa solution kapag broken line yung line mismo ay hindi kasama sa solution so in diagram guys ito po yung kanyang papakita niya to guys so part yung po yung shaded region tapasin niyo po kapag po solid line kasama sa solution siya kasama yung shaded region Kapag broken line, 
Yan, hindi shade dre, no, tanyo, pati yung hindi shade dre dyan, not part of the solution set. So, that is the first part po ng ating linear inequality set in two variables, guys. I hope you learned something from this video. If you like this video, kindly like this and share it with your uh, students, syempre, at mga co-teachers din nyo. At sa mga bata po dyan, huwag nyo kalimutan i-share po sa inyong wall para mas makatulong po sa ating mga ka-estudyante. Okay? So, that is hugot sip na yun po, guys. I hope you learned something. Ingat po, God bless, and see you on my next video. Ingat po, God bless.